Hi, I'm Jenny from Key Performance Ideas, and today I will be talking about activity reports. So to get to the activity report, click Applications, click Overview, click on the activity report tag. So the first column uh, you'll see is the date and time that the report was generated each day. And then the second column lets you view the report. So I'm going to click on the December 17, 2016 report and click on view to see what type of information it will provide. So this is the FC report. The first information you'll see on this report is uh, the number of users who sign into the application each day and or over the last five days. Also information on usage, duration, and hours, or uh, how many users over the last seven days or 30 days. And the next piece of information is on percentage of the UI requests that took more than 10 seconds to complete. So UI requests can be like uh, loading, editing, or saving forms, loading uh, folders, doing ad hoc, saving or refreshing grid, editing or validating rules. So just anything that users do in the application. And then you have information on the top seven planning requests that took the most time to complete. And this table below here gives you a more uh, like detail for each of the UI requests. So this table gives you the name of the UI request, uh, the duration, how many times it's been executed, and the average min and the max duration. And then also information on the top 30 worst performing user interface that took over 10 seconds long. So in this uh, table here, it tells you, it shows you how long the action took, uh, the user that's doing the action, the time the user did it on, uh, the screen the user is in, and what action they did. And the object tells you more in depth about the action. And then scrolling down more, you see information on number of users by hour and uh, number of users by usage duration in a bar graph. And then uh, if you ever want to find out which users spend the most or the least active time or the least time in the application, uh, this top 10 most active or least active by usage duration table will give you that information. And there's also CalScript by durations. Um, the top 10 CalScript by duration table tells you the uh, Cal scripts that takes the longest time to run. And so this table gives you information on the name of the Cal scripts, how many times it's being executed, and their durations. And then the last piece of information on this activity report uh, gives you information on how many people are using which type of browsers. So uh, it gives you browser version, what type of browser are you on, and how many people are in this type of browsers. So click uh, close to exit the activity report. And lastly, let's take a quick look on the access log, uh, which is a new feature that just came out recently. It's in, in December. So when you click on the download link here, this is the file that you'll see. So this log gives you more detailed information on like what, where did the user access in the application, the date and time, the duration of the user activity, um, the 
IP address on the user, the user that performed in the service. Yeah, and the screen, the app, the action, and the object. So it's just a more detailed information on what's going on in the application. So this ends my video on activity reports. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.